please stand for our angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we Lord, beseech you, O Lord, your grace, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Welcome to the shrine of St. John Bosco the Dreamer. Together with our personal intentions, we also include the following. For the gift of life and birthday intentions of Matthew, Justin, Alberto William, Shujimar Sejas, Sean Paul Domingo, and of Raf Ambrose. Thanksgiving offered by Bernadette family. Thanksgiving Mass for all the blessings received and for the good health and for the gift of life and good health of Don Estrella. Thanksgiving for all the blessings for all the graces and blessings received. Prayer petition for quick and peaceful resolution of Roe. Offered by Marina and family. For the healing, recovery, and good health of May, and of Brother George Sellis through the intercession of Blessed Eusebia Filomeno. For the intentions of Paolo and Princess Diane, Lenil, Lawrence, Idelbert, and of Mark Kelvin. For the eternal repose of the souls of Auxilium Abanil, Ferrer, Dolorosa Compahinae, Fortunato, Vilma, Darrell Mamporte, Cipriano Cortez Jr., Eldebrando Maniaca Villaver, Manuel Sr., Antonio, Angela, Ace, Rosita Lim, Francisco Pancho, Bertin Lopez, Rogelio Uy, Pilahia Pancho, Tida Lau. Also for the souls of Alex and Henry. And for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries.
Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made me, he made of me a sharpened edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing uselessly spent my strength. Yet, my reward is with the Lord, my recompense. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for to you my for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Please all stand. Christ, we have 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining a table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. And one of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once. And it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During Holy Week, the final three Lenten Gospels of Holy Monday, Holy Tuesday, and Holy Wednesday all describe a dinner with Judas present. And today's Gospel is that sad scene of betrayal at the Last Supper. This meal was to be the last for Jesus before entering into his glory. And this meal was his act of love for his apostles and an assurance that they will be with him into whatever end. And with all of his disciples present, including Judas, the one who betrayed him, this meal showed who were his friends, his apostles, his closest collaborators in the mission. This shows to us that Jesus did not stop loving Judas, that Jesus still considered Judas a friend and apostle, even though he was fully aware of the dark plan in his heart. And in that meal, Jesus began with that statement, telling them that one of them will betray him. And this stirred up reactions and questions from the apostles. And after the commotion, Jesus gave a morsel of dip bread to Judas. 
according to a biblical scholar, by symbolically handing Judas a morsel of dipped bread, which is a Middle Eastern custom of table fellowship, Jesus intends this gesture to be a silent appeal to Judas to reconsider and abandon his treacherous plan. And through this act, Jesus gave Judas some time to think and reflect about what he was going to do to Jesus later on. But unfortunately, this gentle effort of Jesus to reach out failed to move the heart of Judas. In the end, Judas got the morsel of dipped bread and went away. And then the evangelist described the scene with this sentence, and it was night. And at that point, darkness has come upon the world. Everyone was left with questions, but for Jesus, that was a moment to teach them that the hour had come for him to be glorified. It was dark, it was night and gloomy, but the glory that will be revealed by the Father through him will pierce through it, bringing light, hope, and salvation. His passion, death, and resurrection became the ultimate revelation of God's love for all of us. It might look dark and sad in our eyes, but that was love in action, a love that gives one's life until the end, a love that saved us all. Brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we become part of a meal with our Lord Jesus present, surrounded by all of us, the gathered community. And with this act, Jesus considers each of us his friends, his disciples, his close collaborators in the mission. And by being here, we are responding to this invitation. And to highlight this friendship and closeness with us, he offers to us his own body and blood in Holy Communion. Jesus is offering us his body and blood in order to bring spiritual nourishment and light into the dark corners of our life. As we celebrate this Holy Mass today, on this Tuesday of the Holy Week, let us remember that we are friends of Christ, those sinners, and that we are also invited to bring our brothers and sisters starting in our own families and communities, to that same friendship with Him, which we celebrate every time we attend the Eucharist. Let us humbly present our petitions before our Lord, always remembering the suffering He endured in order to make salvation possible for us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel betrayed by friends may avoid bitterness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That sinners may not be discouraged, but seek forgiveness in the sacrament of reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer may find the strength to bear their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may unite their sufferings with Christ and be filled with inner peace. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be given a place in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, in your wisdom, you permitted your only Son to suffer for us. Through the Spirit, draw us closer to you, that we may express our devout gratitude. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those who make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness. Through Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of a redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. <clears throat> For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> in a similar way on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything, that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the help of Christians, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. O Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle, where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks.